Hey everybody, welcome back to Weird Beers Cheers. I'm DJ. I'm Sam. And um, yeah, we had um, aviation from Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I was out traveling. I was in California. Well, when, actually, it's not from Ryan Reynolds. Well, it, that, I mean, that's <laughs> it's part of the company he yeah, owns. Yeah, he's parts of the company. Yeah. He owns it. But um, I think he still does. Sam, uh, Sam got this while I was traveling. I was in Cali. And Ryan was in town. Not and, Ryan Reynolds. Not Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> um, our friend Ryan. Mm-hmm. And him and Sam did a sample of this. They tasted it. And then R- Sam told me, I have the bottle. You can have it when you come back in town. And I, uh, he gave me the bottle. And it's really good. It's really good. That's all that is left of the bottle that I gave him. When I gave it to him, it was there. He didn't even try to add water to, like, fake it. I could. I can't fake it. This is not who I am. <laughs> I'm not a woman. Oh, oh. Um, I'm not going to fake it. That's why you can't have nice things. <laughs> no. But here is Ryan doing the taste. Look, before, I, before I shoot it off the Ryan, I just have to say that this is very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, the Jupiter, Jupiter is one of the main ingredients that you get in gin. And that's usually why a lot of people don't like it because it's really, it's really strong. Jupiter is mm. a really distinct, strong flavor. Yeah, I I did try it, and I don't like gin. Yeah. I straight up don't like gin. I, I can't even tolerate it, even a little bit. This doesn't have a lot of Jupiter in it. If more than anything, you get a lot of citrus off of it, you're going to get a lot of the cucumber off of it. Yes, there is Jupiter because that's what makes gin. But it's not as strong as other cheaper gins. Um, this was 35? 31. 31, actually, after okay. tax. All right, that's what it was at... GN, GCP? GCP. Um, I saw it down in Watkins for around 35. And then I saw it in another place up in Ithaca that was around, it was in the high 30s. So mid-30s is the average dollar mark for this. Um, this one I believe I got from uh, Bottles and Corks in uh, Corning too. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's let Ryan speak. Or let's take it. The, um. Hey, Ryan, take it away. What's up, everybody? This is Weird Beers Cheers. My name is Ryan. Sam's behind the camera. Hey, guys. DJ's out for the moment. He'll be cutting in a little bit. Now, today we are covering Aviation Gin. Aviation Gin is at 42% alcohol, 84 proof. It's not bad, it's 2% more than normal. Normal, I'm just saying, is 40%. It's not good or bad. 2% is not gonna make or break the day. But, Aviation Gin does have a mix of spices from around the world. Doesn't say where from, though. Now, Bombay Sapphire and Sangria have a list of different types of spices and herbs that they use I believe it's only on Bombay Sapphire does it actually name where it's from. There might be a couple other types. Either way. Today we're going to review Aviation Gin. It's not bad. I've had a little bit just to start out with to see if I was going to make weird faces in front of everybody. And I'm going to. So the positive is, is now that I've at least gotten slightly used to it, I'm doing very little bits like that. Now, I know a lot of you who may drink a lot would be very disappointed in such a small little bit. I'll probably never get invited to a party. That's fine. I never was, probably never will be. However, we're testing this out. Now, one of the tricks you can have, I don't know if Sam knew this or not, but when we took an earlier take, he took a sip and gags. So we had to redo everything. It's embarrassing. We forgive him. Now, with this, when you, you. Go to, <laughs> when you go to drink, if you breathe out when you go to take a shot, anything, don't breathe in for a little bit. It'll be way more easier. So, with this, very easy, just... And then breathe. That way, it's not as prevalent when you're going to make a face. However, Aviation Gin tastes pretty good. It's better than the well gin you're going to get from either behind the bar where they forgot it and it's cheapo. It's also going to be better than what you'll find at the bottom of every single liquor store. It's better than that. You're going to find out like the second to third shelf. Rating out of 100, I give it a 75. I'll show you how to make a gin and tonic, but the ratios, I'm not good at. However, typical gin and tonic. We're just going to splash a little bit in. Take lime. This is so much easier. You want to cut them up, make it look fancy, go crazy. 
I'm lazy. That's why we got this. Just make a little squirt. We've got the fancy tonic water. Interesting point. I'm going to say it wrong, but the canine, whatever. I did find out that's good, so you will not get malaria. It's a really big thing here in North America. But, give a little stir. Gin and tonic. No, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it'll taste wonderful. Something simple. Very easy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Again, look up ratios. Everyone likes a little bit of different types. Some like straight, they're weird. And some like to have it with more um, tonic water. You can mix it up and use 7-Up and several other different types. Go crazy. But gin in general, especially aviation gin, very good. I'd recommend it. I think you get invited back to a party if you were to bring it. That's my take. Back to you. All right, guys, and now we're going to ship this over to DJ, but I just want to say, hey, like, subscribe, share. Yes. And that's Ryan. I'm Sam. Off to DJ. Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much for uh, doing that review for me. Again, I'm sorry that I had, uh, when Sam gave it to me, I got back in town. I just drank all that shit. It is good. <laughs> it is very good. There's a smidgen left. It's good. It's good. All right, guys. That's Weird Beers. Cheers. I'm DJ. I'm Sam. That was a short, quick one. You guys have a good day. Enjoy. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>